We're near 57th Avenue and Camelback, and a lot of information still coming in, but this is kind of where it all wrapped up with this semi-truck. Now, the suspect fled away in a car after uh, he hit that officer at the QT gas station. He ran into that semi-truck, the semi-truck uh, not getting much damage there, but the car did, and it was just recently towed away within the last 10 minutes or so. Employees told police at that QT that the suspect was often armed with a handgun, and for now, he's looking at a slew of other charges. He reached for the young man to put handcuffs on him. The young boy reached over and said, you're not arresting me, and grabbed the steering wheel and drug himself into the vehicle. A quick run to the gas station to get ice cream turned into an icy situation. Bob, who preferred to keep his identity private, says he was sitting in his vehicle at this QT near 51st Avenue in Camelback while a police officer was talking to a young man. Police say he was conducting a follow-up with the suspect after a report that the man was shoplifting the day before. But during the conversation, a struggle ensued. The officer, uh, you know, attempted to take him out of the vehicle, and he pretty much put up a fight. Then uh, my door was open on the truck. His door was open on the car. He put it in gear and hit the gas real hard and swung around, took out my door, his door. And uh, when he hit the brakes, the officer pretty much flung out of the car. He got hurt pretty good. He the officer was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Although the suspect sped away, he didn't make it too far before he hit this parked semi-truck in a nearby neighborhood. Uh, what the heck's going on? <laughs> That's about it. I mean, there's always stuff going on, but not to this nature, you know? All I heard was squeaking and loud noise of a car, you know, the roaring of the car's motor. But And when he, you heard him when he started sliding and he ran into some. Then I came outside. Mm. Yeah, we all did. Neighbors say after the suspect crashed, he got out of the car and ran down the alley, but was later found hiding in a backyard shed. I was working for mom and I got a knock on the door that someone was in the backyard. Uh, they just told me I needed to get out, so that's pretty much all I know. They did find him in the shed in the backyard, so it was scary because I thought it was just another Tuesday morning and, and then I get told I needed to leave. Mm. Yeah, for now, officers will be investigating all three of these scenes in this neighborhood while they continue investigating. Reporting live tonight, 70 Minutes, Fox 10 News.